First day out, y'all see the shirt. Okay. Right. So we we're gonna do our address first. So what we did, we came out and laid out just a couple of marks as mark how wide it is, and then we're gonna lay down the blue tape uh, to box it out, and then we're gonna lay the stencil down. And so right now we're just marking it out. We're gonna lay down the blue tape. I'll come back and show y'all the video after right, so the blue tape. The box this particular stencil, we had to go a little bit wider than 20 inches. So I just went and moved it over a little bit on both sides. We got a box out from Sun is here. He is laying out the stencils. So once he's done, I'll just double check it. We'll let him go and knock that out. Probably help him out so we can get it done. And we're gonna lay the stencil out, just make sure it fits. We're gonna lay the base coat. We're gonna go. Are we going black background or are we going to go with the white background? Uh, probably like, yeah, white background. You want to do the white with black? Yeah. All right. My man! White so, so we got it all masked off, taped off. It's a little windy today, so it's going to wreak a little havoc on the, the overspray. But short bursts of spray should prevent it from uh, kind of floating across the sidewalk. And you all see the paper moving. It's a little windy out here. but. We gotta keep it moving. So let me go ahead and paint the back and we'll be right back. So we laid down the base coat of white. We're just gonna give it a couple minutes and let it dry up a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay the stencil down and keep it moving. So shout out to, to my neighbors here. They came out here and saw us working and brought us out some drinks. I don't know if y'all ever heard Kearns, but those things hit hard. <laughs> Shout out to them, appreciate them. And uh, that's what's gonna happen. Generally you're in the neighborhood, people see you working, they'll come in, try to ask what you're doing. And they'll show you a little bit. So thank you guys. Out, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We had a little bleed through, we just went through with the paint and the white paint and touched it up. But yeah, we put a little clear coat over the top of it. It is concrete. So you're gonna get the different uh, textures, but overall, I say that's pretty darn good. What you think? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we killed that one. Uh, how long did it take? It took us about- 20 minutes? No, it took us longer. It's our first one. It actually took us about 30 minutes to get everything knocked out. But <laughs> it's still not bad. The wind is crazy right now, which really caused uh, havoc. But that's one of the things you got to deal with when you're working outside. And uh, you can only imagine doing this in colder weather. It's going to take the paint a little longer to dry. So your appointment times will be a little longer. But it is what it is. You may be able to go from three or four appointments down to like two. But still, if you really think about it, you're getting two an hour. It's $40 an hour. Come on. Yeah. Let's get it. You see, their, their address used to be here. See, a lot of people don't know they used to have addresses there. The sun just killed it. It beats it up and it ends up fading away. So we're just gonna bring it back to life. We're gonna refresh it. So he's cleaning the area. As y'all see here, he has a stain here. Uh, we can hit it with some water and get that taken off. But once I measured it, it's only gonna come down to about here. So we are good. Uh, we're golden. You're not gonna get all the paint off. But you can you can get a lot of it off. So, all right, you're good on that. You can go ahead and hit it with the with the broom. Yeah, it came off. If you get some solid paint, uh, the two in one, the primer and 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 paint, you should be able to get a nice solid cover there. Back to it again. You see ours is done right there. It does look nice. And then we got this one here. Uh, we do have some uh, reflective beads. Here, get that. We do have some reflective beads here. I have not messed with them yet until I get comfortable on applying it. So once I get comfortable applying it, then I can add that into what we use. As of right now, I'm gonna leave it there. All right, 
Let me take this off. All right, so we got the neighbor's house taped off. This wind is wreaking sheer havoc right now, all right? Wreaking sheer havoc, but we got it taped off. And uh, we got our done over there once again. We just came right across the street to the neighbor's. We're about to get this background painted. And so we finished the neighbors up. Just simple, the black, I mean the white with the black. Real simple, right across from ours. Now we're headed over here to the neighbors here. We're gonna hit them up. I was explaining to my son, you know, when you just have a business, when you start off, sometimes you gotta do some charitable services. To this day! You gotta start off for free. Just knock them out. So that's what we're doing, we're knocking our neighbors out. You already got a tip. How much, how much you get in tip? Yes, sir. My man. Yes, sir, and that went all to him. So $5 tip. We're gonna go on and keep going. And uh, yeah, we got it done. The neighbor, and then the one right there. So we did it in black background with white. Once again, these are, we doing these for free. Just clear coated that one, and then we have the other houses. We're still right here in the neighborhood. Signs right here. Stranger danger. Juice on the necktie. The necktie. So this is another neighbor's house. We're actually doing an Iron Man on this one, so go ahead and take it out, paint the background. I'll lay the stencil down now. Simply go take the spray paint, spray some paint in the in the cap. We're gonna use a little brush and uh, touch up the white areas to crisp up the numbers in the Iron Man. I'll get a little video of me doing that, and then we will let this continue drying. We're gonna spray a clear coat on top of it. Call it a day. All right, so we're we're just gonna go in and touch up some of the areas that has overspray. And all you do is take your take your spray paint, and you'll you're gonna you have to shake it up and spray it into the cap. It gives you a nice gives you a nice pool of paint. And I'm just gonna touch that. one paintbrush per color because you don't want to start mixing the colors a lot of businesses just kind of spray real fast and and it's cool they can knock a lot out but the quality is just not there sometimes quality over quantity is always better So 
so we finished the day. Uh, we did, uh, how many houses did we paint? Was it five? Yeah. All right, we painted five houses in which four of them were volunteer. <coughs> All right, getting, getting that business out there, which we're gonna do a lot of those just to get the name out there. And then one paid, and then he actually got a tip as well. So how much did you actually make today? Twenty-five total, and I told him any project we do, we split half and half, and any tips he gets, he keeps it all. So he basically made ten dollars on one. That was one that they paid for, and five dollars tip. So not too bad. Uh, we were out there for we went out there about ten thirty-ish, mm -hmm. somewhere around there, and we finished up about three, about three o'clock. Mm -hmm. So and we went up there and knocked. We knocked on all the houses up and down the street. So tell us, what, what do you feel like was, well, overall, what do you think about the day? How did it go? It was good. Went pretty good? Mm -hmm. And was it easy? Was it hard? What was it? It was easy. Pretty easy? Mm -hmm. And what, what was the best part you liked about it? Like doing the stencils and like giving the cards to people. So when you, what were you doing when you was giving the cards out? Like why were you giving cards out? So people could check out your business, your company. All right. And was it, like, did it take too much time? Like, did, did you, was it, like, something you think you, anyone can do? Mm -hmm. Right? It just, it just takes a little time, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Overall, give me your overall summary. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? We're going to go knock on some more doors tomorrow? Yep. And how many do you think we're going to get tomorrow? Like, ten? You think, what? Wait, like how much people? Yeah, how many people do you think can say yes tomorrow? Uh, like five? Okay, so we're aiming, he said we think we'll get five tomorrow. So if we get five tomorrow, at bare minimum, that's $100. So $20 per, oh. like, that's minimum, all right? So if we get five tomorrow, that's $100. Not bad, not bad. So we, we're gonna aim for that. Uh, what would you say to the people out there that that don't want to go start a business like this like let them know like how easy is it to, to like just get started it's it's easy but at first it's kind of hard but as you progress it's going to start getting easier and then it's going to start growing and then you're going to have a successful business what about people scared to hear people say no if people say no that's all right if they just they just don't like they just don't want to take it out. Yeah. My business, right? People saying no. You're going to get more no's than yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. And we'll, we'll do it again tomorrow.